take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Now the return, Rashad Green. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. The Packers defense, they ready themselves here. They were able to force the three and out last time, led to the punt, and then led to a touchdown for their crew. So they'll be looking for a little bit more of that, Charles. Well, I think that they created the spark with the three and out. Gave a little momentum to their offense. They said, all right, appreciate it, guys. And they took the ball downfield and stuck it in the end zone. And that defense wasn't out there long. They'll be trying to keep it short here. On first down, Bortles. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And a peek at the defense for the Packers. Mike Daniels continues to get better and better with each year. A nice run stopper inside. They'll come out in the pistol. On second down, Ivory. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So a couple failed attempts here for the ground game, assuming you pass here on third. Doesn't look like you're getting anywhere running the ball at all, so I would agree with you on that one. You've got to think about going to the air to try and pick up the yardage you need. Anything in particular you look for on third and long? I don't think you... And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Julius Peppers in there to drop him with his first sack of 2016. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 20. Look at the spin. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about... ready to take possession here and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time they'll be looking to do that again here for the defense obviously they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone it always is punch counter punch isn't it and which team has the advantage well, let's just go back last time on offense they rolled downfield got to a good rhythm you can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle you can see the sideline really get into the game so defensively you're thinking to yourself how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's brought down. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. 
And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. So the offense has it first and 10. So one quarter in the books on NFL kickoff weekend. 6-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. In the middle of the field, he's got Nelson. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say, I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will make our score 9 to nothing. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense. And over the post. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And this will be a touchback, so a first chance here in week one to see the ball be brought out with the new rule to the 25-yard line. The Jaguars offense now heads back onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. They stay on the ground. Ivory again. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Ten yards to go on third. Partner we're into the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But if you're the defense, you're feeling great about what you've got going on. The only concern you have, if you get to the half, what adjustments will the offense make to try to defeat you? He's got his man here. It's green. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen, but everyone's talking, communicating.
pointing and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you gotta let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. Green with a catch left side. 23 yards on the play. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And now a first down following that long game. Here we go. Green, 39. Hey, hey, hey. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got room. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. See if they stay on the ground for second down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. But there's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. And Myers able to knock it through. And they are on the board. It's now 9-3. to three. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. This one taken from the seven. <laughs> spinning past him. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. Three yards remaining here on second down. Play clock winding down. On second down, here's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. Everything about that play was beautiful. A great corner route where the receiver worked the defensive back inside and then broke back to the outside to the corner. But how about the throw by the quarterback? Anticipation on the break from inside to outside. He threw the football. As the receiver turned around, the ball greeted him. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Snap comes at one. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Time running out here on the play clock. Throwing is Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. This is Cobb with a catch right side. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And the play clock's running down. The play fake to Starks. Now Rodgers sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. 
And it brings up second down. No third, third down. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Caught by Nelson left side. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It's a seven-yard gain.